And hello again, everybody. This is Ron DeRockster along with Paul Melton from Farrington Field in Fort Worth for the 1991-92 version of City Video 45's High School Football Game of the Week. Tonight, a rematch of last year's uh, opening game for Western Hills. The Western Hills Cougars take on the Denver... <laughs> I did say it. The Denton <laughs> Broncos. Last year, 22-9, the final score. Denton did uh, a number on Western Hills, but that was not indicative of how Western Hills was going to finish the season and was not indicative of how Denton was going to finish. Denton finished 5-5 five and five last year, 3-4 and four in district play, and uh, finished way back in the pack. They finished 6th in District 5-5A. Five, five and, Paul, the Western Hills Cougars are looking for another stellar year this year. They want to start it off right against the Denton Broncos. Western Hills, a playoff team a year ago and a much improved team over that, uh, of course, pick to win District 7-5A last year. We've got somewhat of a tradition gr gr growing here. Denton Western Hills opening their seasons for the sixth year in a row against one another. Last year, as you said, Ron, Denton took the victory. Uh, slow start for Western Hills. They came al along and, of course, uh, finished just a half game out of first place in District 7-5A. So a good matchup tonight. This year, the uh, district favorite in 7-5A taking on 5-5A's, uh, a playoff contender in that district to the north. And the Denton Broncos uh, take a 14 letterman back with them two offensive and six defensive starters. They lost 28 Letterman last year, but the big man they're going to be looking at is the big man they're going to go to in the offense for the Broncos, and that's going to be number 32, Marcus Sanders, a junior. Last year as a sophomore, he rushed for 1,200 yards, scored 78 points, about one touchdown per game, and he uh, just I mean tore him up and made a 100-yard average per game as far as rushing is concerned as a sophomore, and they knew he was going to be a real quick starter. Jim Bateman, the head coach of Denton, with a 112-68 and two records, 16 years at the high school, 14 years as a head coach, looking for them to run the wing T offense this year. The wing T from Denton going up against a 4-3 alignment, the famous Cujo defense of Western Hills, and some strong players defensively and offensively. Let me start with the offense first. Of course, the entire backfield returning. Uh, that includes Tenefrey Jackson at quarterback, Classical Freeman and Montague Cordell uh, behind him. Uh, also, Don Lanier, the junior, looked good in a couple of scrimmages uh, in the past couple of weeks for Western Hills. Uh, defensively, a name we want to look for tonight, the right defensive end, Henry Thomas. Coach Walter Miller very pleased with the way he looked in the uh, two scrimmages. Uh, 6'4", 240 pounds, moves real well. Put some hits on some people in the uh, scrimmage against Odessa High. Western Hills took that one, uh, if you want to call it a victory in a scrimmage. Uh, they outscored Odessa High four touchdowns to one. Uh, then last week against Brewer, outscored the Bears out there on the uh, north part of town by a score of three to one. Miller said that his team looked a little flat, not a lot of intensity in that game. But uh, here tonight, uh, looking for his team to be fired up to get the district or the uh, new 1991 season underway. In the middle of the field, Cedric Bryant for Western Hills on the left. Brian Tabor, uh, the tight end. A couple of all-district performers returning. We'll go ahead and take a look at the Western Hills starting defensive uh, linebackers. As you see the coin toss, John Fussell in the white hat is the referee tonight. Stormy Walker is on the other end of that huddle, and he is the umpire. Denton wins the toss, but elects to give the choice to Western Hills, who will receive Brian Tabor, Cedric Bryant, taking, shaking hands with uh, the tight end from... Denton and the running back number 33 the captains and that's Jawan Jordan a two way starter Denton will be kicking into the wind so this will be an interesting start for the Broncos tonight the Broncos themselves uh, again Sanders being the big man Jason Mills their quarterback on the offense backed up by Lamar Allen a couple of split ends for the Denver for the uh, Denton Broncos. I said it again, Paul. Cody Shelton <laughs> on the uh, split end along with Melvin Savage and Mike Merritt. John Daly on the tight end on the right side. But their offensive line averages about 250 pounds. Pretty beefy guys. With uh, Marcus Sanders in the backfield, Eddie Williams and Jawan Jordan. And we'll look for those guys to help Jason Mills out. We looked at uh, the offensive line for the, uh, or the defensive line, I should say, for the Western Hills uh, Cougars and saw the name of number 74, Ricky Gibson, a young fellow that bench presses 400 pounds, number 74. Remember that, Ricky Gibson, he's 260 pounds. He's a, he's a senior with one-year experience on the varsity, but bench presses a little over 400 pounds. He's a pretty big guy. We'll look at another quarterback tonight, along with Zifri Jackson, is going to be Cedric Williams, a strapping young lad who transferred in from Arlington Heights, and he's a senior this year. He'll get some playing time, although he won't start. 
Well, both these quarterbacks know that they're going to see some playing time this year and probably in tonight's game. Again, Tenefri Jackson will start. He was the starter a year ago for Western Hills. Of course, came off an unfortunate accident during the summer last year. He was uh, struck by a bullet at a 4th of July celebration, and, and that's been two summers ago now. He wasn't 100% to start last year, but he's 100% this year, so already Coach Miller feels his team's further along at quarterback. But besides Jackson, has the transfer from Arlington Heights, Cedric Williams, a name you want to remember. He does start in the secondary defensively for the Cougars. He'll be at free safety, but will probably see some time at quarterback here tonight and throughout the season. Don Lanier going back on the kickoff return, number 44. He'll be the deep man. 